So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I'm going to guide you through the 4 Balfour's quest. Well, I say quest, it's a certain thing you can do where you can actually obtain 3 keys. Uh, these keys will take you to hidden areas on the map where you can get exclusive loot from. Today I'll guide you through it all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave me a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the four Balfour's area located western side of the map, you can see right here guys. Now you've probably discovered this area already, you've probably discovered a couple of the keys needed to take you to these actual locations, but either way I'll guide people that don't know through this entire thing. So you need to come here guys, basically find this grace point left, uh, left hand side of the map, not hard to come to to be honest, not hard to find either. So once you get here guys, you need to make your way around to the very top. And activate this grace point which we're going to do now so from this grace point guys follow the path i'm taking now these three locations you'll go to one is in knockdown city one is at the very start of the game and the other one is within the dragon temple now these places all behold exclusive loot to them and i'll showcase that loot to you in a quick second because i've already done this but it don't matter uh, i can still guide you through it quite easily now oh, coming up this hill there's going to be a giant you may want to try and avoid him Let's try and go through his legs there we go Make him look like a biatch. But hey, so some of the uh, uh, rewards from this are actually quite cool. The sword especially. Biatch, back for your legs again. Okay, so the three teleporters. There's one right here. Uh, there's uh, one right there. And the other one is right there. Now to actually activate these teleporters, you need something called imbued keys, which you'll see on the screen now. Now these, one of them you are granted for free. Uh, if you come to the very top of the, this uh, place, the peak of this place, guys, you'll see that there is a chest here. That's your first imbued key. You can use that key on any one of those three teleporters. But there's another two of these imbued keys hidden across the world. And I'll show you exactly where they are. But first, let me showcase to you that your things you get for this soul. From the very start, because uh, one, of the, I can't remember exactly which one takes you where. You'll see that in a quick second. But the actual boss, which is the first boss, if you remember, when you come into the game, you actually fight a boss called the Grafted Scorn. You actually go back to the start of the game to fight him. Now, if you defeat him, guys, you get two items. You get this uh, ornamental straight sword, and you also get this, the Golden Beast Crest Shield. Pretty cool. Now, I'll showcase what this does. Pretty nice, people. There we go. Come with that double attack. Now, I ain't dual wielding these guys. This is actually this weapon's attack special attack it's weapon art pretty cool pretty cool and the shield itself um doesn't do anything special as far as i'm aware but hey let's have a quick look at it there we go still cool looking still cool looking you also guys get a couple of talismans you get this one right here which is cool where is it where is it where is it uh there it's right there the mottled necklace uh, raises robustness, immunity, and focus. You also, guys, get the Pearl Drake Talisman. Pretty cool. I've actually got a plus two of this, so yeah, it's not really efficient for me. But hey, if you're a collector and you want to think, you get this from the actual third spot. Simple as that, guys. Okay, so one sword, like I said, is located from this chest. The other two are located. The first one, you need to go to the Rhea Lucaria Academy and make your way through the entire well not the entire place but you will have to go through and take down the uh the fox boss but i'll showcase you exactly how you do this in a quick second firstly let me showcase you where the actual the seal is to break into or get into the Re lucario academy when you first go here guys there will be a seal blocking your entrance so if you come to this point on the map guys right here you'll see there's this sleeping dragon right here if you sneak behind him guys you will get up and walk away but hey, the, the actual seal key, the glintstone seal key, is located right behind him. Once you've got this, you can then go back to the seal and gain access to the main academy gate. And from here, guys, follow the path I take on screen now to get the first of the two imbued keys.
Okay, so the second key is located, guys, right here in the cellar under stair, right within the town of Sorcery. So here, guys, you, what you first have to do is come here, obviously. Once you get here, you need to light three of these beacons. So follow where I got on screen now, guys, and light the three of these beacons. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Okay, so once you've lit these beacons, guys, just follow the path I take on screen now from the third one, and you'll gain access to this chest. Watch out, though, there will be a few enemies surrounding it. But once you open the chest, guys, you'll get that second imbued key. And there you should have all three guys. And now guys, you can go back to the four bathrooms and access all three teleporters by using those keys. And on the screen now guys, you'll see exactly where each one takes you, where you need to go in each and how you get this done. And really guys, it is as simple as that. And there we have it guys. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.